Deputy Scheduling Tutorial Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and use Deputy Scheduling. Deputy Scheduling is a highly rated employee scheduling platform. With this, you'll be able to create employee schedules that they can access online. They'll also be able to request leaves and different options. Everything will be able to be done on this platform. So it will make managing a large team quite easy. The first thing you want to do is go on to deputy.com. Then from there, you can tap on try deputy for free. In fact, you will be able to use this platform for up to 31 days without even adding your credit card. So you're going to tap on try deputy for free. Then from there, you will be redirected to a new page on which you can sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to a page like this. And by the way, you can see what your employees will see right there to join your team. And you're just going to tap on discover deputy. After you have done that, you can input in your business name. So you could type in your business name right here. So let's say, for example, I were to call it Jason Tutorials. I'm just going to give it a name. So you can see right there. And I'm going to give it a name. Then you'll add in your phone number. After you have done that, you can add in the country right there. After doing that, you can choose the business that best describes you. So I'm going to select services. Then you can select your industry right here. So there are numerous industries you can select from. After doing that, let's say for example sake, I were to select personal services. Then you can select the size of your team and you're going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, let us know, let us get to know you. So what brings you to deputy? Do you want to save time scheduling, track hours work, or process your team's pay? You can select whichever one of these options. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and you can see what payroll provider do you use. You can select whichever one of these platforms you use. Then you will tap on next. So let me select for example sake. I'll just select this one and I'm going to tap on next. After tapping on next, what are you looking to improve the way you schedule your team as soon as possible in the near future or just looking around? Then how did you hear about deputy? You can select whichever one of these options. After you have tapped on create, you'll be redirected to this page and you're just going to give it a few seconds while your portfolio is being set up. So just give it a few seconds to load up once it loads up, I'll be showing you what to do next, how to add employees, and how to set up their schedule. So you can see right there, we'll be redirected to our dashboard. So you can see right here. And we're just going to tap on get started. After you have tapped on get started from there, how many physical locations do you have? If you have more than one, you can select multiple. Do you have independent scheduling managers for each section? I'm going to select no and confirm your professional service name so you can put in your address right there and then you'll tap on next after you have done that you can choose the section so you have manager admin support cleaner sales for example you can put cashier driver at your own so you can create different fields right there then you're going to tap on next once more after you have tapped on next make the schedules yours so this will drive weekly overtime pays. So for example, you can select the day that the pay week starts. So which day of the week does Jason Tutorials week start? So I'll say Monday. And what is the most common shift time? And you can select whether from 9 to 5 or you can set up the time right there. And which is the default meal break duration? So for instance, I'll be giving mine 60 minutes, so one hour. Then we're going to tap on next. After you have done that from here, you can import your team from QuickBooks if you want, or you can manually put in their full name and you can put in their email address and you can select their access level right there. After you're finished, you're just going to tap on add to member or you can tap on skip right there. Then we're just going to tap on start scheduling. After selecting start scheduling, you will be redirected to this page and again, if you would like to add team members, you can quickly do that. So for instance, let me close this real quick. Once you have closed the pop-ups, all you'll need to do now, again, if you'd like to add team members, you can tap on people from the top dashboard. Then from there, you can tap on add people in the top right hand corner. If you would like to add more locations, you can tap on locations from the top navigation bar. 
and from there you'll be able to add different locations as you can see right there you can also use their hr platform so you can add applicants you can also schedule interviews and you can use their platform for job listings so deputy is a full hr suite platform not only will you be able to manage your employee schedules from this platform but you'll also be able to add employees for example applicants and so on now to set up their timesheet or schedule you'll select schedule from the top after you have selected schedule let's say for example we would like to create a schedule for the cleaner so you can tap right here and let's say we'll be starting from Monday you can tap there and you can see their timing so you can see it right there after you have done that you can tap here on the three dots once you have tapped on the three dots you can choose to repeat it for tomorrow or repeat it for the rest of the week or repeat for specific days so you can select whichever one of these options let's say we were to tap on repeat for the rest of the week so you can see the cleaner schedule has been repeated right there after you have repeated it you can set up the schedule for the other team members after you have set up their schedule what I want you to do next is you are going to simply tap on the settings cog right here after tapping on the settings cog in the top right hand corner there are a few things that you can also do if it is a case that you would like to print out their roster you can do that if you like to download the roster you can also do that and keep in mind once someone signs up to deputy one of your employees they'll be able to see their schedule also from there the next thing you can do if it is a case that you like to assign a task to an individual you can tap on task from the top navigation bar after you have done that you can see add tasks in the top right hand corner and you can choose task for a whole area a task for me a task for someone else so I could select a task for someone else then you could put in the title you can choose who you would like to assign it to and the due date and then from there you could type in the task and you'll tap on save so that's how you'll be able to create a task also if you were to go to the main dashboard and tap on me this is how it will look for your employees so once they sign in they'll tap on start shift to start recording their shift then they are going to select their department so they can select their area so for example manager and we are going to tap on start shift after they have tapped on start shift you can see the time that your shift started right there and you can choose when you would like to start your break so you can give them the allotted break time and they can tap on start break whenever they go on to break as you can see right there so that's it and they can record the amount of time that they have spent on work and you will be able to see it so you can see it right there and the timesheet might be deleted because the length is less than but this is just a rough example so that's basically it and you'll be able to view the timesheets by tapping on timesheets at the top navigation bar or you could tap on report and you'll be able to view the attendance by employees or attendance by location if you have multiple location you can also see the different platforms that you can quickly integrate now if we were to go over to the top right hand corner and tap on our profile pic then from there tap on business settings from there you can tap on pay and you'll be able to set up the pay rate right here you can also tap on leave and from here you'll be able to allow team members to view their leave balance if you want and you can also allow team members to amend or cancel their approved leave requests if you want so you can do that but I'll leave that as is and you can see upcoming features that they'll add and you can also tap on timesheet right here and from here you can add shift questions you can scroll down and you can see different customization options and that's basically it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe